What's going on everyone, Dots here, and today I'm bringing you guys a discussion video talking about ESO's latest patch, Waking Flame, and discussing what I think about it from a PvP perspective. I thought this could be a fun video to make, just kind of discuss my thoughts on the state of the game. I don't think I've done something like this in quite some time, so I thought it'd be something fun to do since I am back playing the new patch. But I just want to hear what you guys think about it. Have you been enjoying Waking Flame? Have you not been liking it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And you can see if others uh, share your opinion on the state of the game. But hopefully after this video, um, you know, if you've been debating coming back, hopefully this is going to kind of help you make an educated uh, decision about whether or not it might be a good time for you to come back. Now, I'm not going to, you know, go through the meta and everything and like, you know, specific details but just kind of talk about the game from a top-down perspective so i'm assuming that you've at least played or looked into the game a little bit you know over the past couple patches to know eso's uh history throughout 2021 but if you have been playing the game or keeping up with the game at all you will know it's been in flux for quite some time it's been a very very tumultuous time to be a pvp or in this game with metas just drastically changing every patch with ZeniMax making 97,000 massive changes every single time they release a patch. But with this new one, with this the latest Waking Flame DLC, do I think things have gotten better, worse, or somewhere in between? Overall, I do think that Waking Flame was a net positive. Now, one of the things that I really like that ZeniMax did with Waking Flame that has been something I have been begging for for a very long time, it Waking Flame feels like an improved iteration of Blackwood and not a brand new game. Within the last year and a half, we've had a gank meta, a proc meta, a dot meta, a tank meta. That We've just had so many different versions of the game that every patch feels like the game is totally different, which has led for, for or led for two, <laughs> led to a lot of people, myself included, having massive change whiplash just because the, the game, it's like watching the balance, it's like playing ping pong. It's been, it's been crazy, but the one great thing with Waking Flame is that it didn't do that. It's it's a patch where the game isn't different. It feels like an iteration on the previous patch. They made some good, small, impactful changes that I think overall improved PvP, like the changes to Battle Spirit, as well as some of the new CP stars that got added. Of course, you know, it's not perfect, but the methodology behind the balancing was great. And I do think Waking Flame was a massive improvement on Blackwood overall. But I don't know how you guys felt about Blackwood. I personally hated it. <laughs> it was one of my least favorite patches that has ever been released for the game. And definitely my least favorite chapter patch. Uh, I think uh, normally I typically will play like recently. I'll play like an ESO patch for like two months. And then usually when they announce the, the, the like the, the upcoming patch, I usually take a break during the PTS cycle and then wait for the new DLC or chapter to be released. But I only made it like three or four weeks into Blackwood before I hung up ESO. So just because I was like, I, I hate this patch, but I can tell you already after playing Waking Flame for the week, you know, as I'm redoing my builds and updating the website that Waking Flame is definitely better than Blackwood. Again, you know, Blackwood, I didn't like it, but Waking Flame, I've been enjoying it so far overall, and it, they have definitely made a lot of improvements. Um, granted, I'm going to discuss the things that I, I don't like in a second, but it's nice to see the game improving. Another thing that really improved dramatically during the Waking Flame patch is the FPS. They added in a new setting, like, like a multi-threading setting inside of your video settings. And man, the people that designed that, big, big claps to them because it is fantastic. My FPS has dramatically increased. I honestly, a lot of the, the, the lag that I have isn't in even FPS related anymore. It's just all like latency ability lag. And so to actually see the FPS and ESO really improve is such a good feeling and it's it's just nice to see that you know we've been promised performance improvements for so long we've been promised them and promised them and promised them and they failed to deliver on a lot of occasions but to see them deliver on this and to see them bring massive fps improvements to the game is fantastic to see so huge ups to the people at zenimax for accomplishing the fps increases now those are the the, the couple things i think really did improve with waking flame but there have, of course, been some things added in that are are not so good, with the first thing being the new Rewards of the Worthy sets. 
they are just all so broken. <laughs> it's so bad. And it's annoying after we just got this huge proc set balance pass for them to essentially release three proc sets that are all super broken. And it's really, really annoying. Dark Convergence is one of the most toxic sets to fight against. Uh, there's another set that puts like a blight seed on people that you literally can't purge or it is literally proxy debt. It is, you know, just negates purge in its entirety. And on top of that, you also have the new Frothgar set, which is essentially a proc set that can exist outside of the dimensions of Zenimax's proc set balancing. And it just can hit people so, so, so hard. So it's it's very annoying for me to see them make so many improvements to the game balance wise on how they've been working on improving proc sets over time, how they're making these changes to battle spirit to 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 uh you know make people not instantly die to ganks and and you know improve the cp system you know they've been iterating on it and it's it's it sucks to see them making all these improvements and then like just be like hey we're also going to release three absolutely broken sets and you know it's i feel like i feel like balance wise this this patch would have been overall pretty good if these new sets were not added these new sets that were added just put such a blemish on the balance of the patch um and i hope to see them reined in because right now i've only been playing the patch for a couple of days and recording this i think on uh, friday and the patch released on monday and it's a shame that i've been playing all already for only a week and you can tell <laughs> already that these sets are busted so hope to see them changed hope to see them improved um the other thing that has come back with blood it came back they came back with blackwood and they've only gotten worse with waking flame is the bugs and ability lag of course we know ability lag's been in the game for quite some time ever since i think they made like the changes to, to block canceling like in the way that they do the checks for block ability lag has was present and it has only in my opinion gotten worse and blackwood and waking flame in terms of the ability lag are probably two of the worst patches for them since they've been since it's put it been into the game honestly um my skills are very unresponsive um, I, I honestly have started hitting skills two or three times just to make sure that they go off. And the unfortunate thing is that sometimes when you do do that to make sure that your skills do go off, sometimes they end up queuing and you don't get them when you want them. And the ability latency is, is so bad. It's so, so bad. You know, I've heard in, you know, little, you know, whispers and stuff that it's, it's again being worked on. And I hope it is because right now it is in a really, really rough state. And so if that's been something that you've disliked about the game, it has not gone anywhere. It is still very much present. The other thing that has come back a lot with the last two patches is there's been a lot of new bugs that have been reintroduced to the game. And as a primarily Dragonite player, I can tell you the two, the, the biggest one that's affected me is the fossilized bug. I feel like every patch fossilized gets, gets worse. You know, the bug came back with it where, you know, you can go to stun somebody, it'll spend the magicka, it'll give them CC immunity, but it won't actually stun them. I've also encountered a new bug this patch, you know, Dragon Knight players everywhere beware, that sometimes certain opponents can just not be fossilized. And I don't know why. Um, you might be thinking, oh, well, do they have CC immunity? Are they using an move pot? Uh, but no, no, they're not. <laughs> because the thing is that I can still stun them with leap, but for some reason, my fossilize is grayed out the entire time I fight them, regardless of how close I am to them. And that bug, I'm still trying to figure out if I can see what's causing it or, or what interactions are happening to cause that to happen. I've had it happen against different classes, different, you know, one stamina, one was magicka. But yeah, just be aware that, that you know, that's there. And I've just noticed personally over the last two patches between this patch and last patch that you know, fossilized aside, there have just been a lot of different bugs that were have been out of the game for quite some time that have returned, which is very, very sad to see. Um, you know, just because bugs really can put a damper on gameplay and can and can be game breaking in certain aspects, you know, especially with all the events they've been doing in Imperial City, which makes me so happy because I love Imperial City. But at the same time, every gap closer is broken in Imperial City, you know? It sucks when you have these great events that people should be, you know, jumping in, super excited to play, and then they're like, oh, I can't use Leap, I can't use any gap closers, I can't use nothing, you know? And you gotta, like, do, like, a GTA cheat code where, by the way, for those of you who don't know, if you go into IC and you find yourself not able to use an ability, 
what you do is you actually need to go down a ladder somewhere in IC. And I'm not even joking when I say this. Take the ability off your bar, bar swap, bar swap back, get out of your skill menu, go back into your skill menu, put a skill back on your bar, hooray, it will now work. I don't know why it works. Someone in stream chat told me once and I didn't believe them and holy crap, it actually fixed it. Um, so that's a little fix for you. But yeah, the bug bugs with the last two patches have been have been rough. Um, but what do I think needs to be improved with the game? You know, obviously I can sit here and say what's good, what's bad. But but what do I actually think needs to be iterated on and be improved? Um, the obvious two, you know, big elephants in the room are going to be bug fixes and, abil and ability lag improvements. I feel like the, those are the two biggest things impacting ESO's PvP at the moment. Um, I also think that if they actually were to balance the new sets that they just put into the game, I actually do believe that overall balance would be in a pretty solid state with the exception of my next point, which is that we desperately, desperately need a class balance pass. We have not, I don't know if you guys have really thought about this. I know I, I some people haven't until I've actually mentioned it. We have not gotten a real real class balancing like change pass patch whatever word you want to use since Dragonhold which came out in 2019 that was the quarter four patch of 2019 we've gotten some small changes and some small things since then but we haven't gotten a real like big class buff or nerf cycle in almost two years so I think it's time I think I think the game needs it, you know, really, really badly. It's kind of at least I personally feel that for a while now, the game has kind of been like the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, where I feel like the classes that are good have stayed good and get better and benefit from a lot of the changes to the game more so than the classes are, that are just so much more inherently weaker. Um, the two classes that come to my mind personally that I think need the biggest attention and love would be Mag DK and Magblade, but I think that many other of the Magicka classes, at least from a PvP perspective, do need some help besides Sork as, as well. Um, a lot of the Magicka classes I know people have have said and, and feel that are weaker too. I know, I know Magden, you know, not in the in the most healthy of spots either. Um, and so I, I think that you know it's time for for a class balance patch. It's time it's time for some changes. And you know, again, I, I personally don't want to see them go the route of nerfing. I don't want them to nerf Stamblade into the ground. I don't want them to nerf Stam Crow into the ground. I, I want the classes, uh, you want everything to feel good to play because I feel like in the past, the ESO has felt like everything feels equally shitty to play. So I'm going to pick the least shitty class to play. But right now, I think a lot of classes in the game do feel really solid to play, but a lot of classes in the game do not. And so I feel like if they can at least bring up the bottom end, you'll close that gap between the bottom and the top and make balance overall feel better. But personally, I think that's one of the biggest things that the game needs, and I hope it is coming soon because it has been quite some time. Like I said, we've gotten some small changes here or there, some buffs and nerfs to like maybe a specific skill here, a specific skill there, but we have not gotten any big class changes, any big looks at classes and you know, big buffs to things, like I said, since the end of 2019. So I think it is, uh, I think it is time. But yeah, overall, that's kind of my thoughts on the patch. Um, overall, I think if you didn't like Blackwood, I would recommend coming back and giving the game another try. I do think the patch has definitely improved. Again, biggest thing to tell you is that don't come in expecting performance to be great. Performance is still not very good. FPS has gotten a lot better but ability lag is, is still very much there. But overall, you know, I've been playing for the for the week so far with the patch, um, and I've been having a good time. Like I said, minus those new sets too. But definitely an improvement off of um, off of Blackwood. And I think the game is, it's, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, the biggest thing I'm hoping for with Waking Flame is that this shows like a methodology mindset shift for ZeniMax. That is what I'm, I'm, desperately praying for because they've been making these very tumultuous giant massive hammer changes to the game for years and this is the first patch that i feel like they finally pulled back the reins and made 
smaller, more, like smaller impactful changes. And the game, like I said, it feels like an iteration on the previous patch and not an entirely new game. And if we can continue with this method of balancing going forward, I feel that ESO will be on the right track, but I just hope that this patch wasn't a one-off and that this is the new thought process and the new way that they want to do things going forward, especially because, you know, they made so many dramatic changes with the whole rebalancing of the game and the standardization, but I feel like we're starting to kind of approach the end of that. There's not much left, I don't think, that they could really, you know, that they could really uh, standardize. I feel like they've hit pretty much everything. So my hope is that we get a nice class balance change, uh, class balance pass going into the quarter four DLC with specifically the weaker classes being buffed. Um, and that we continue to see these smaller changes come to the game, specifically the new rewards of the worthy sets being changed as well. I think they're really overpowered and they need to be nerfed. Um, but overall, I feel like ESO definitely had a Waking Flame was definitely a positive iteration on the previous patch, even though it does have its problems. But guys, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I know this was just kind of a bit of a different type of video. I just kind of rambled for 16 minutes, but hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, I appreciate it. If you smacked a like on it. And for more ESO content, as well as other MMORPG content, please feel free to hit that sub button as well as the bell to keep those notifications on. But thank you all so much for stopping by. I do very much appreciate it. As always, I'm Dots Gaming, and I'll see you all in the next video.